Hello guys and gals and welcome to G5 Higher Purpose Gaming episode 84. I'm your host Hotel Charlie Hill and tonight we're going to be trying out some PUBG also known as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now I haven't played PUBG in a long time and when I did oh my gosh are you kidding me? View updates what? Oh thank god it's okay it's only taking 11 seconds. Mike's I mean mics. What's mics mean? My mic should be transmitting. <laughs> Dylan! Scaring me! Alright, so the game unfortunately needed an update. Fortunately, the update is only taking one minute to launch. And it looks like the game is launching right now. What's what's Mike's mean, Dylan? Can you hear me talking? It sh you should be. Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Get out of here. Ah, she gotta hate the internet or hate computers sometimes. I already checked my levels and everything. Every should everything should be working. Oh baby, so when I played this game before guys, I uh, I had started on Ultra Detail, see how that would run. Realized pretty quick that anytime anything happened, uh, <laughs> I dropped down to like five frames per second. Uh, so yeah, then I went down to high and that was actually pretty decent. Highlights auto capture. Nope, not gonna do it. FPS camera, FOV, 90, brightness, 50, quality, custom, screen, scale, 100, anti-aliasing, ultra, uh, ultra, anti-aliasing, ultra, please, post-processing, ultra, <laughs> let's just, let's just see if this will tank my system here, ultra, shadows, texture, problem is, I've watched guys on YouTube videos, and they're like, I play in like minimum shadows and minimum blah, 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 so that I can see guys from 500 miles away. And it's like, well, that's lame. They turn down foliage, foliage so that you can't, so there's like nothing in the trees so that you can see guys through the trees. So you're there thinking, hey, look at me, I'm hiding behind trees. Meanwhile, they're like, why is that guy weaving back and forth? Yeah, I couldn't run PUBG on Ultra when I tried this. Yeah, it's um, apparently, doesn't matter how good your computer is, it's just a poorly optimized game. You know, that was a month and a half ago. Maybe they've been doing some uh, some pretty sweet updates to it. I can only hope. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All right, as you can see right here, right now, friggin' the little button underneath that should say like accept or whatever. Can't see it. Can't see it. Oh my gosh. So you can't actually, oh my. This is a problem I had before. I had to change the screen scale and everything, like down to like 90, and then... Oh my gosh, what a broken game. You know, and it's like... <clears throat> they still charge like 30 bucks for it, even though it's alpha. I'll need to check, haven't played in forever. I don't know, man. Uh, my Seeing this, my hopes are not very high right now. Okay, maybe if I tab, one, two, three. Gosh, I don't know what I just did there. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. And the game, the game's like frozen. I don't even know what's. Oh my god. Uh, look, look, the game, the screen is, is screwed up to refresh UI in case live does not work properly like all the time it's a fun game but they need to get their crap together I know look at this oh my gosh it's too big for the screen
you can't change anything. All right, well, let's just go down to 720 and, and see what happens there. Oh, wait, that's not going to do anything either because I can't actually make it go in effect. Full screen, full screen windowed. Do that. Oh, well, none, none of this actually is going to do anything. I'm an idiot. Why do I keep, why do I keep wishing? Pete's sake. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. Everybody have a good night now and go get a good sleep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's all on Ultra now. I don't think I can do anything yet. Change appearance. Now buy a new t-shirt. No, I'm gonna wear my gray t-shirt. I'm gonna wear my gray pants. Great and key. What is this? Oh, change appearance costs three grand. I just spent money changing my friggin' clothes. That is so gay. Once the clothes are in your closet, you should be able to put them on anytime you want. Rewards. Random weekly crate. Number one. Click to preview items. Survivor crate. Do it. Um, statistics. Where's my kill rating? Where am I? I don't care about all this other stuff. Home. Settings. What the heck is wrong with this game? Okay, hold on. I got to check this out. If I, if I can figure this out right now, I'll just solve it. Player known battlegrounds does not fit on screen. Full screen having problems. Player unknowns. Team community. I clicked full screen in the settings. Now I can't click anything in the menu or even change it. Back to window mode. Main menu takes forever to load. Game runs like crap. So I turn the settings down and now I have graphics glitch on my screen. Everyone is lag spiking around. Close your game and do negative SW in launch options. Then see if you can use the menu and stuff. Nope, didn't work. Although this game is a joke. Try verifying the game or restarting your computer. Also, what are your specs? Try to decide that you're starting and verifying nothing. You can try to delete your config folder. Open up a run prompt by pressing Windows key R and type app data, then go to app local, delete the config folder there. After doing this, you'll want to verify your game and then try launch and make sure you remove and launch options by both of these. Set your game launch option with windowed. If all works in game, now set your resolution and windowed settings in the options. Close the game. Remove a windowed from launch options. Start game. If this doesn't really work, try this. Finally, if none of this works, follow the steps above, above steps. But open game user settings. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. I have game, I have the same issues. Could not have to go through all this for a brand new game. I do understand this is a new game, blah, 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 blah. Alt, enter, go to windowed mode. Set it to full screen window and options. I can only play like since. Okay, there we go. I think I did something. Went to some other mode here. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh crap, I hope I'm. I didn't screw something over. Whatever, let's just launch. Let's just play. North America, let's go. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. This is what you came for. It says. Ugh. I need some water. 8.03 p.m. What a waste. What a waste.
Uh, well, she runs nice. I mean, look at all those people. Before, it was like, uh, like chug factor. Actually, I didn't do I didn't do that very well. It was more like, uh, 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 uh. but yeah, here we go. Come and get it. Right now, uh, settings. Oh well, look at this. I don't even know what this is doing. Full screen disable. Settings. I I can't change my controls. Nice. I don't even remember what they are. All I know is this, guys. As promised, instant combat every game. The first guy drops out of a plane. I'm following him. I'm following the first guy that drops out of a plane. Ni hao. Ni hao chat out. Hey guys, can you hear me? Oh, here we go. This is going to be so Why? good. Why? Yeah. It's going to go follow the first dude that I see. And I'm going to try and kill him. Alright, you know what? Ricky. Where are the bad guys? There they are. There they are. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. Come on. Hit the ground already. There we go. And parachute disappears, as as you do, you know. If any of you have ever parachuted in real life, you know that moment you touch the ground or get one foot above it, it parachute detaches and disappears. That's cool. That's one of the things I hate about this game. Just same within Wildlands. I had no interest in play No interest in playing it because of that. Anita, I don't even know what that was. Pick up. Reload it. Re, re reload. Okay. Uh, so clearly the game has defaulted all of my junk. Uh, there you go. Switch to a what? That map is not supposed to be that big on my on my friggin thing here like that's like half my screen This is going to be so bad. It's a fun game. I'm back. Nice. Thanks, dude. Uh, glad to have you. All right. So why can't I see the gun? You know, I need to see my gun so I can attach stuff to it. What is going on here, game? Killed. Oh, my gosh. Look, the game's like so screwed up right now. I'm like zoomed in. I don't want that on the ground. I want to have it in my possession. Whatever. I'm going to go kill somebody and die in the process, probably.
Guy over there. I'm gonna pretend like I don't see him. But I do. How do I bandage? How do I bandage? Instant combat has come into effect. That's what you get, man. You don't mess with a guy who unfortunately has some seriously stupid stuff going on in this game already. Like, what is going? What? What is? What is going on? Why is this so screwed up? What gun did he have? Did he have an AKM and he wasn't killing me with it? That sucks. That sucks. You poor guy! You should have crushed me! Okay, how do I freaking squat down? P prone blocked? Okay, Where, where's the freaking bandage key here? Okay, first person, nice. No, no, no! Oh, uh, wait, maybe I can, can I scroll down? I scroll <laughs> guys I'm like I'm, I'm stuck here thanks dude you don't need an attachment anyways I know right I just crushed that dude um map where where am I there's a oh, this is so broken I can't believe it'd be like an, a number like six. Oh, okay no not on the not on there we go oh I don't have any This is so bad. Or helmet. Like, where are the bandages? Someone looted the crap out of that house. It's gonna have nothing there. Part of me wants to get in that fight, but I know I will just instantly die. In fact, I think he's just baiting people. Where's my friggin' guy? Alright, where is... How far away is that? I'm right here! I think! Pick up what? I, I honestly, I just want to die. This is so annoying. I just want to die, get it over with, and spend the next 45 minutes trying to fix all this junk. There we go. There is no first aid med kit, bandage and wounds. Yes. Yes. All good, guys. Look, I'm 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 fully healed now. I'm, I'm ready. Have a combat. Ah, uh, see, Nova Nova down on Military Island. What? 
I can't even see myself. Oh, there I am right here. Oh, good call. Oh my gosh. And I don't, I don't know the button, so it's like not intuitive whatsoever, you know? It's like trying to like run a race with shoes tied together. Beauty. <sighs> I'm gonna die. But I'll die with a cool jacket on. When guys see the dude in the Matrix jacket, they're just like, they just poop their pants. Like, it's freaking Neo, man! No one wears that thing unless they're like super amazing. And it's true. You can still beat the border, but you need to go. I know, right? Well, the best part's gonna be when I, um... Oh my gosh, look at the blue. It's like chasing me. I'm done. Well, at least I got a kill, you know? Oh! Oh gosh! Run as fast as I can. In as short as distance as possible. While other guys snipe my face. Oh my god. That's okay guys, that's okay. We set out what we achieve to do. Or set, we, we achieve what we aim to do. And uh... Yeah, report. Your game's broken. Report. Um, it's not my fault, you know? The game just sucked balls right off the bat. Like, I can't believe it. And don't wear that jacket. It tends to glitch through walls and give your position away. Yes, sir! Sorry, sir. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see if we can start this crap up again properly here. Roma chat. I keep it private. Oh, yeah. That guy's creeping me out. I don't know what it is. Love to have a good uh, internet relationship with them and become friends, but um, sends me a friend invite. Doesn't tell me who he is or how he met me. And his profile is secret. Says it's because he doesn't want hackers, even in his friends list. Being able to target him. I target you for what? Okay, guys, look, look. See this? Everything is lower now. Everything is lower. That means... Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right, we are good to go. I should have just tried that before. Hey, guys, look. Control, sound, gameplay. Wow. <laughs> those are those are integral. V-Sync. Yeah, we turn that off, actually, because theoretically, my... Here, hold on. Let's, let's see if this just breaks the game. Good old Alt-Tab. NVIDIA! This is supposed to have V-Sync on. I don't know if I actually have to run this in the background, but... I do anyways! Vertical Sync on. Back to PUBG. Game crash. Yeah, I won't wear the jacket. Like, you're talking the, the ends of it just like flip through the walls, eh? Sent you a request if you didn't see. But yeah, no, I did. I got you, Dylan. I did gotcha. Uh, those peeps are always sketch. Yeah, I know, it's... Well, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, here I am streaming now. Some people will legitimately be like, I'd like to know him. Other people will be like, I'd like to scam him. <laughs> you know, invert mouse. Yes, general sensitivity. I think I think this is okay so far. Scoping sensitivity. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out as we go. Move forward, WASD. Walk. Left control. Okay, I can, I can get with that. Sprint. Left shift. Actually, you know what? What's left alt? I think I want left alt. Be my sprint. No, because then I can't jump. Never mind. Base bar jump. Walk. Left control. Crouch is C. Prone is Z. Interact is F. Toggle. Camera. B. Auto run, 
free look left alt okay so i need that for that that works fire left mouse reload oh gosh come on come on seriously game next weapon mouse wheel up mouse wheel down primary weapon one two three melee weapon thumb mouse button two Big good throwables four firing mode b um i think firing mode for me should be rate of fire aka r increase zeroing page up thumb pad thumb pad peak left q peak right e unarm x yeah that's handy i don't know when i'll ever use that hold breath left shift that's oh when you're sniping i guess use grenade mouse button okay cool use flashbang use smoke bomb Um, one, two, three, four. Use med kit seven, eight, nine. Use boost item zero. Use heal item hyphen. Which one's the hyphen? Hey, hey guys, what's a hyphen look like? Is that like a dash? Oh, yeah, it's a dash. Never mind. Use adrenaline. Use painkiller. Use Molotov. Use flash. It's the dash, thanks. Thank you. Use Molotov. I hope I'm not using buttons I've used somewhere else. Apparently not. Good. I'll tell you for conflicting. And what is this? And say. GTH enter. Use med kit. First aid. Adrenaline. Painkiller. Painkiller is going to be P. Adrenaline will be this. While driving, WASD, air control, pitch up, space bar, air control, pitch down. Left control. Air control? What, you can fly helicopters now? Roll right, EQ. Pitch down. And brake. Boost. Actually, hmm. swimming up, space, swimming down, C, UI, map, yeah, okay, inventory, I, or tab, cool, item quantity control, left control. Toggle UI. It's for when you get air, air time in cars. Oh, you can actually change the pitch of the vehicles. Try that in real life. Delete my marker. Toggle options. That marker at current position. Sound. Push to talk. V. Mute voice chat. Mute master volume. Previous player, page down, observer, cam zoom in. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing much observer mode. Be leaving a moment to get my chicken dinner. Master, X, UI, DGM, I don't know what these are. Push to talk, voice channel, all. Voice output, 100%. Gameplay, 
Inventory screen on render. Colorblind. Nominal. White crosshair. Yeah, white's fine by me. Equipment HUD. Equipment's HUD. On? Yeah. Weapon slot HUD. On. Map world zoom speed. Crouch. Toggle. Prone toggle. Walk. Hold. Sprint hold. Uh, sprint beyond hold or toggle? Free luck. Toggle. Although it is nice to just let go of stuff and you go back to normal. Peak, hold, map, toggle. Preload interpolation. I don't know what that means. Observer preloading map. Whew, fly. Let's do it. Okay. This is it, guys. North American region. Solo game. So far, the graphic card seems to be holding up all right. Same with the processor and new motherboard and stuff. Also, I've got this game. I transferred it over from my uh, rotary drive. Old school, still a great drive, but transferred it over to a uh, solid state, so it'd be a bit better. I mean, before guys, this here was chug fest. It was like chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo. Now, what's up? Oh shoot! I just realized something. Hello, hello. Where are you from? Shoot. You are all white, dude. What was the X button? What did the X button Shut do? Up, please, motherfucker. Um, X, okay. That's gonna be. Who's gonna not use that? Hey there. Are you guys my friends? Oh no. You guys my friends? Shoot guys, where is the stupid <coughs> button? Uh, sound, UI, swimming, while driving, yeah, item. Shut up, motherfucker. Shut up, bro. Are you guys my friends? Testing, testing. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I just gotta go follow these guys and kill them. <laughs> oh yeah, so oh yeah, so you wanna go to the uh nuclear tower, do you? So do I. So do I. Man, this is gonna be intense. Okay, who he clearly got the jump on me. I'm chasing him though. He, he's scared. He's like, ah, uh, I better hang on tight here. It's under sound if you want reading voice channel. No, no, I want to change my uh, free look button from V so that when I'm going free look, I'm not pressing the chat. Okay, he's over there, good. Man, here we go. This is it, guys, this is it. Come on! Switch the white shirt, who cares? Um. Is there really nothing else here? Oh my god.
What is that? Vintage baseball hat? You know it. Why did it look like I ran by stuff? Okay. Oh! Oh, for Pete's sake. Boots. Gas mask. And die. Uh, Pete's sake. First aid. So much more comfortable. Bullet lubes. All right, so I, w I applied stuff. I don't know what happened, but it's not working. So that pisses me off. And sorry guys, I am so new at this that I'm actually, I'm slow at even just like getting stuff. Which sucks, I know. Hey, that's fine. I'm just generally trying to this. You know, I went and played Fortnite the other night and thought, oh, yeah, this is going to be so easy. And I got swamped every time. It was so gross. There are really two machetes here? Who, who needs two machetes in their house? Guns, I suppose. Okay, I think I've checked this whole area. play Fortnite yet is it fun it's kind of neat but you know what if you play player unknown battlegrounds don't bother basically like the ch the children's version of player unknown battlegrounds you know uh it's all cartoony animated and you can craft like stuff in the middle of nowhere which is super gay hey I were a bad guy. Oh, 
Like, you see how long it takes me to, like, make myself not be a goof? All, like, running around all hunched over. Oh, nice. Doc. Yo. <laughs> I'm good to go now, guys. I mean, how much better to, can it get than that? We're gonna go to this place here. I really wish I had a better gun. Wish I'd been paying attention and went the right way. Ugh, Xbox typing. <laughs> Dude, it's better than PS4 typing, man. PS4 is... Rubbish comp compared to that. All right, here we go, guys. Wearing my beautiful, I'm wearing my, my aunt's beautiful uh, wool sweater. Like, what the heck? When did I put this on? Oh, great. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so bad at moving this dude around here. I think I think I got to... I can't put it on toggle. I got to put it on, like, let go -y mode. What a tool! Where'd you get all your gear, man? I'm reporting you. Reporting you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, what a fag. Get off my body. Get off my body. Make a Discord for G5HPG. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea, because then people could chat. That is a cool idea. But, but... My hope is... Well, I suppose the days I'm playing solo don't matter, but I also like talking to people in the game. Rip, rest in peace. Yeah, right. Baloney. Problem is, guys, controls, okay? If you don't know how to walk, you don't know how to run. If you don't know how to run, you're not gonna be able to soldier on. Like, I spent all that time making all the stuff work, and then it seemed like half of it didn't even save. <laughs> Crouch, prone, interact, camera. Okay, toggle camera, okay. We're gonna make that X. Auto run, free look. Fire. Again, here we go, reload. I had made this my friggin' mouse, middle mouse button. I shouldn't have to retrain this stupid system. Previous weapon, one, two, three. Melee. Two. Throwable, throwables. Four. Thumb mouse button. Firing mode. I don't know how you select which throwable is which, but whatever. Firing mode B. No, firing mode was R. Stupid. Like, uh, look, you drag the mouse over, it barely even changes its color. You can almost not even tell. Oh, but you guys can tell on yours on my screen. Both of these look almost white. Increase zeroing. I changed this. Peak, unarm, X. I don't even want this to be a button. I never want to have my guns gone. How stupid. Hold breath, left shift, use grenade. Or if necessary, but... Oh my god. 
G. Volative. Enter. Use smoke bomb. B. Rubbish. Yeah. Look at this. This is all back to normal. Use adrenaline. Use a painkiller. P. Use adrenaline. That. Use an energy drink. That. Actually, let's make this and that. Move forward while driving. Space. Control. Pitch. Up. Air control. Roll right. Vehicle seat. While swimming. Map. Inventory. Item quantity control. Left control. Control U for toggle UI. Okay, cool. Push to talk. V, just like it is in my uh, other games. Yeah, the Discord idea is neat, except I I want to be able to talk to people in-game. That's awesome. And I also want to, uh, when I'm playing with other people, talk to them. It makes it really difficult if uh, people in the chat. The other night, oh my gosh, during Doom, when like more than one person was actually talking, it was so hard to follow. And it's 8.41, almost time to go to bed. Like, seriously. What a night was, uh... This night was spent. Warp again. Sound. Graphics. Gameplay. Inventory screen character. Render on. Colorblind. On and on and on. Crouch. Toggle. Prone. Toggle. Walk. Hold. Sprint. Gotta put it on hold. This is too hard. Free look, hold. Peak. You know what? I'll get used to that. I'll get used to that. That's important. Apply. Okay. That's what time it is, guys. So unfortunately, I was not able to get to where that guy uh, was, so I wasn't able to fight him as soon as possible. I think, uh, I think that would have been on, given me a bit of an advantage. I always just make a private stream channel for the people who want in. Well, yeah, I suppose. Nice beard. <laughs> What's up, guys? Did the reason you run and get a gun as soon as possible is because this is one of the only chances you're gonna have to actually practice shooting stuff because in this game, you die so freaking fast, like... Did they put me on a South Asian server? Brutal. <laughs> Look at everybody, it's gonna get crazy! Where's everyone going? How's everyone going so freaking fast? They're like, just cruising.
Oh my gosh. This might have been a bad idea, guys. Oh no, I thought these would be like sea cans that were open with guns in them. I'm pressing it! Jeez! Oh my gosh, there's nothing here. I screwed myself, guys. The guy's got like the only gun in the game. <laughs> I have the best backpack. And I could get the second best backpack. Other than that, that's it. Are you for real? Oh, you can't even crawl underneath! <gasps> oh my gosh. For that one voice chat anyways, it would just be nice to have a spot to talk and find people to play games. Yeah, that's definitely true. Well, uh, my hope is actually to uh, get a website up and going so that uh, G5 the higher purpose gaming community actually becomes more of a community right now No one really uses the Facebook page. I only have like 11 people following it. So it's kind of seems like a big fat waste <laughs> Oh, come on Oh my gosh Brutal 82 that's okay. That's okay, guys. We're going right in on it this time. This next time. Uh, are you gonna load? Connecting. North American server. Why was I hearing people speaking languages from all over the Orient? Seriously, what is wrong with this game? But yeah, that's uh, that's the hope, man. Uh, G5 Higher Purpose Gaming Community. Um, there's a many reasons for my desire for it to uh to go in that kind of direction but one of them is for people to be able to find others to play with so we'll see what happens i better go try and get a gun i need to practice that was so lame i can't believe that was how my game started some tool just sitting up in a window waiting Headshots! Oh, wow. Show Hotel Charlie Hill! Headshots! Oh, why, why? Oh, just, oh, I see why you just, you guys. Yeah, me too, man. I really would. Um, is it just me, guys? Or there's still oh, a lot of uh, Asian speaking people here? Hey, guys, are, is this an Asian server or what? No, no, no. Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. How are these guys like? Oh, they're pressing shift. I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh.
ding 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 okay here's my one enemy right here oh and there's oh there's so many guys landing here Wheat. Would there be a gun up in this tower, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. And if I and if I'm wrong, so be it. Okay, why? Why? Why am I not running? Guys, I'm holding the stupid run button, man. This is just it's, it's becoming an awful experience here. Look, there's guys shooting already. I can't even get up these this dang ladder. Oh, th there you go. There's there's some running. <clears throat> oh my goodness! I thought I thought there was like no fall damage in this game unless you like fell like eighty feet. That was only four. Feet. Gosh, don't do that. Take that! Okay, take your energy drink, your hat, gloves, your utility belt. I already have a utility belt. I should not have taken Oh my gosh, I'm so wounded and I'm stuck in stupid pose. Oh, that's why. You gotta just tap it. Oh my gosh. No no bandages. Got him! I, I'm so thankful, man. It was, it scared me. Oh my gosh, I got nothing. Whoa, I'm on... Okay. I got... See, part of it is... I never played Arma. Never played Arma, guys. Well, I did. I, I played a little bit. but Enough to actually get proficient at all the whole movement thing. It's like so tense right now. Oh, first aid kit, right. That should have been the first thing I used. Gonna go over tonight. See ya. Thanks, Dylan, for tuning in, man. Have a blessed night. Oh.
man this is definitely one of those games you gotta play a lot you gotta grind it out otherwise you're just another noob There needs to be like a training room where it's like, I'm going to get used to the guns because right at this very moment, I have no idea if, uh, if shooting from the hip is as good as shooting down the barrel. I mean, well, shooting from the hip obviously isn't, but I mean, um, shooting aim down sight versus over shoulder, you know what I mean? Oh, did they really just get the stuff before me? Oh man, Super Saiyan. Oh, oh, fuck you, man. Yes, sir. This body is giving. Why does it keep putting me in Asian servers? Or do you guys come over and play North America for some reason? Why do they all come here to play? You're going for my little Hamlet, are you? All right. We'll see how that turns out for you. All right, let's do this, guys. Stop it. There we go. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Whatever. I totally smoked that dude with like four or five rounds from that thing. Whatever. It was good though. 94 out of 94. That was the first guy died. Oh my gosh, the first guy dead. Brutal. I'm happy though. I'm happy though. I did exactly what I wanted to do. Start the game, get in a fight. If the more you fight, the better you get at it. There's no sense sneaking around to the very last 10 guys without having killed anyone because you didn't, you snuck around so much. And then when you finally interact with someone, he's just like, like that guy. That guy killed me with a pistol. He stood out there by the freaking door and I went out and died like instantly. It was so bad. Why did they slow down how long it takes to pick stuff up? Got a moving target here. Oh oh my my I need that. Like, you know. They must get like a massive um, networking ping sort of advantage or something where they're just like, oh yeah, these guys have horrible ping. Let them, let them 
I don't know, not die as easy or something. I mean, why else would someone want to play on a server a million miles away? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, can I have the worst? Uh, hey, can I have the worst um, ping? You know, can you please just give me an awful ping that sucks. I don't want to be able to connect any of my shots, you know. No, obviously there's some sort of advantage. Or they just think, oh, I'm going to be in, I'm in Dr. Disrespect's stream. Oh, <laughs> I'm famous. I don't know. I don't get it. Flash Eider. Oh, baby. There we go. UMP. Shotgun. Patch. Oh. Gas bandage. 6-2. Pete's sake, man. Oh, I can't carry anything else? Oh my gosh, okay, get, get rid of that. Oh, level three helmet. That's awesome. From a tactical stock. Oh my gosh, no boats? Really? Am I going to be able to swim across this? Without simply dying? Ooh, the water looks pretty though. Just me and my welding helmet. Ballistic helmet, I suppose. Going for a swim. 
All seven and a half pounds of it. Probably closer to eight or nine. Maybe even ten. Wouldn't be fun. Yeah, 59 alive, guys. I make, I'm, I'm doing it. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Oh, after I get my first chicken dinner, I'm going to go eat KFC and then never want a chicken dinner again. Under the sea. One minute to get in here. This is a long swim. It looked so much closer. Oh shoot, I wasn't holding uh wasn't holding my free look. This looks so much closer on the other map there. On some guys' screens, all they see is this body floating <laughs> past their draw scale. Their draw distance. And they're just ready to shoot me with an SKS. I can't believe how good this looks though, man. Like, I'm serious impressed. Someone told me you won't be able to play PUBG on Ultra Detail no matter what your system is. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, fair enough. I'll just play in high, no problem. But no, here we are. Here we are. Oh my gosh. Like, are there dudes up here on the hills? You know, it just seems like... Just the retarded shots people make. I mean, good for them, right? Good for them, but... I don't know, you gotta wonder. Got signatures. East. Negative, northeast. I really wanted to just fight a guy. You know? What happened? That, oh my gosh, that shotgun fight in that factory, that sucked so bad. Is there a guy on top? There's, there's a guy. AFK. I don't care. It's a kill. Kill is a kill is a kill, guys. Frickin' yeah. I'm stuck on a boat. I'm on. I'm stuck on a boat. That was awesome. Are you kidding me? Where is this guy? <laughs> oh! 
Oh my gosh, like, stop getting stuck on friggin' nothing, man! There he is. Oh, baby! What's up? Thanks for all your gear. Hey, sorry about that, dude. Good try. I can't carry anything. I need a back. I need a backpack. Oh, guys, that was awesome. Pra praise God, honestly. Uh, couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean. How did that just transpire? What? Why was that? Why was that guy just sitting there? Just sitting there. Close it. Close that. AK or micro? Gonna take both. Oh my gosh, guys, that was awesome. I got <laughs> I got a legit kill. Probable. Draw SMG. Pistol. It's probably not gonna work. Holographic. Oh. Oh yeah, drink that. Slam that. <coughs> I'm ready to go. Um, let's just go like right in here. Oh, frig. No, no. And the buttons in this are horrible. And I did not just switch to that gun. Oh my gosh!
32 alive. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm scared. Pete's sake, man. I think this is a red dot. Forty five. Nice. Uh, what is this? Quick draw. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about. 22 guys left. I've only killed one. That was by the grace of God. We'll see how this goes. This is the last game of the day, guys. I'm going to pull a chicken dinner off. I wish I told you how many meters you were away from your stupid point. I'm 
I'm close. Oh! Gotta run! Shoot. Exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Oh my gosh. Well, so much for that. I think there's a guy up there on the hill. Yep. See that, guys? What a cheesy bugger. Better luck next time. I shouldn't be better. This isn't my only second time, only the second time I've ever played. But uh, I wanted to do a bit better than that, guys. I wanted to bring you a better show than that. I wanted to, you know what, though? Tomorrow, the stream will be a lot longer. I think the more I play this, I'll get. Let's move on to the word of the day, guys. That's the, um, that's the real purpose for G5 Higher Purpose Gaming, you know? Um, gaming's fun, guys, but at the end of the day, it's just, just kind of stuff that just takes up time and it can be fun. Yeah, you bet. And especially when you're playing with friends, it can be a lot of fun and just really enjoyable time. You know, some of the best times I've had probably, uh, well, not the best times, but some really great times I've had have been while playing with other people, having laughs and just, you know, Finishing Easter eggs and stuff uh, on zombies. But anyways, guys, the word of the day is when we look at the word of God. Now, don't tune out just because I said God. You need to know God, okay? God made you. He loves you. He wants you to know him. You have to know him. Um, just, I mean, think of it this way. If the afterlife in heaven is an after party and you don't know the host of the party, the owner of the property the kingdom where this party is being held, what makes you think he's just going to say, come on in, come on in. Why? Because he's so good. Because so he's such a good guy. Well, that's the problem. God is so good. He's inconceivably good. And we're going to talk about that soon. As soon as we just get through uh, some of, let's see here. I'm just going to boot out of the game and, uh, oh yeah, it's nice and bright. It's nice and bright. I'm going to go over to a good website, BibleGateway.com. It's just a simple website with a bunch of different uh, Bible versions in it. And understand that that's not translations upon translations upon translations. It's a version that's made based on uh, looking at the original copies. So from like <laughs> 1900 years ago. So uh, these are very accurate, very trustworthy. I, I like the English Standard Version myself. It was made in the 1990s to 2000s, and uh, it's really solid. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just going to pray real quick before we even start. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord God, for this good day. Thank you for the friends I have and the dinner I was able to have with one of them. Lord, how blessed we are. I mean, hardly a day goes by where we go hungry. I don't, I mean, when have we ever experienced that in our lives? There are so many all over who need to know the love of God, who need to um, be helped for your name's sake and your glory. Pray, Lord, that you will help us to understand what you're saying tonight in your word as we go through the gospel of Matthew. In Jesus' name, amen. So, guys, uh, we started off this whole entire G5 Higher Purpose gaming thing going through 
a long series of verses to help people understand the characteristics of God and therefore the character of God so that they could know God. And um, now that we finished that, we've been just going through the New Testament because the New Testament, starting with the Gospels, shows Jesus Christ. Well, who's Jesus Christ? Jesus is God in the flesh, okay? So if God put on flesh and walked among us, well, then this man would be the greatest example of who God is, okay? Uh, So, yeah, we're in Matthew chapter 9. All right. So, verse 32 onwards, Jesus heals a man unable to speak. As they were going away, behold, a demon-oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke. The crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel! But the Pharisees said, he casts out demons by the prince of demons. All right, so let's go back and look at this. I think we're going to be able to fit in two passages, which is awesome because these are both great. Uh, so as they were going away, I think that means pretty pretty shortly after he heals the two blind men in this area, this happens. A demon-oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. Okay, so first thing to take take from this, guys, is this guy is mute, okay? He could not speak. Now, a skeptic, a, a natural philosophist, philosopher, or a philosophical naturalist, rather, which is a person who believes only what happens naturally is what is real. The supernatural does not exist. So therefore, spirits, demons, all of this nonsense couldn't be the, exa- couldn't be the explanation. So they would look at that and say, Well, he wasn't demon oppressed. He was just unable to talk. But no, the Bible, God's word, doesn't mince words, friends. This guy was mute because a demon was oppressing him. Now, does that mean um, all people who are mute are demon possessed or oppressed? No. Does that mean that most people who are mute are demon oppressed? Probably not. It means that sometimes a person who is mute can potentially be demon oppressed and the right um, remedy is to um, take them to the Lord Jesus. Now, interestingly enough, if you actually look into the the, um, condition of muteness, sometimes being mute actually does come as a result from trauma. Okay, so a child gets molested, a child witnesses abuse in the home, and it just clams up, can't talk anymore. Um, I mean, especially if it's like that's just ongoing, all they know. And um, so the philosophical naturalist would say, aha, see, there you go. No demon involved, just some trauma. But that's because they don't understand the reality of the spiritual realm. Um, Things like sexual abuse, physical abuse, just all that nastiness, that comes straight out of the pit of hell because the devil is a thief who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So he's going to tempt people into doing that kind of awful, atrocious acts. And then he uses that spiritual situation I don't know how it works, honestly, but he uses it to oppress people. And so a child can come out of a situation like that and be oppressed and be under this cloud where they feel unsafe, where they feel like they can't, they are totally insecure, they can't even talk, you know, and so they become mute. Um, now, does that happen every time? Like I said, no. Sometimes people are mute for other reasons, but sometimes it does involve a demon. In any case, this was a man who was uh, demon oppressed and mute. Was he? Um, was he? You know, what was his past? Who really knows? Anyways, I just wanted to put that in there, guys, to help you understand that the um, you know the skeptical world will look at Jesus's miracles and say, "Oh, Jesus is silliness. There's no demons. There's no this, that, or the other thing. These can all be explained away naturally." No, sometimes demons were involved. And uh, I mean, if you, if you don't believe demons uh, exist, 
Give your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ, start serving him, have an impact for his kingdom, and you will feel some of the most ferocious attacks you've ever felt. Trust me, because God wants you to understand how badly you need him, and he will let the enemy come in and test you for a while. It's happened to me. It's happened to many people I know. It's happened to um, many evangelists out there, good, conservative, Bible-based evangelists who aren't crazy. All right, so... Demon oppressed man gets brought to Jesus. And then Jesus casts the demon out. How? Well, he's Jesus. He's God. He has authority over the demons. He made the angels. Some of them rebelled. He's able to tell them what to do. They must obey him. I mean, think of it. Infinite power. It's like it's like it's like uh, an atom bomb, you know. Being being um directed by an infinite power. It doesn't matter how powerful you think the atom bomb is, it's still totally um, overcast by the power of God. All right, so the demon gets cast out and the mute man speaks. That's amazing. Now the crowds marvel, saying, never was anything like this seen in Israel. Was Well, what does that mean? I mean, they're marveling and they're marveling because this, they've never seen this before. What does that mean? I mean, you look around the rest of the New Testament, you'll see that apparently Pharisees were casting out demons. Uh, There's disciples that weren't following Jesus, but they're casting out demons in Jesus' name. And his disciples are like, oh, should we stop them? He's like, no, don't. Um, And, uh, you know, I think we learn about Pharisees casting out demons too. So what is so spectacular about this? Well, apparently... In context, um, the Pharisees were able to cast out demons because they would um, ask the name of the demon, and the demon would be forced to reply. I guess conveyed by or um, compelled by God. I don't know. And then they would cast the demon out by its name, saying its name. I guess something like that. So that's how they would do it. When a mute person came, though, or uh, when a de- when a demon made a person mute, <clears throat> they weren't able to ask what the name was, so they weren't able to cast it out. So people who were mute were just people who were mute and oppressed by a demon were unfortunately stuck in that state. So along comes Jesus. Doesn't have to ask the guy's name. Doesn't have to ask the name of the demon. He just casts him out because he's God. And people are like. <laughs> Wow, apparently this um, this was also one of the signs that the Messiah would fulfill or something like that. Now, I'm not sure if there's Old Testament verses and prophecy to, to back that up, but apparently, traditionally, it was a tradition that they developed. They, they said, you know, oh, this is what will be able to happen. This is what the Messiah will be able to do. He'll be so powerful. And um, yeah, what was that book I read? Understanding Jesus? No, it was under no. Anyway, it was in this book. It talked about a bunch of really neat contextual things from that time, from the era, from the culture that uh, help us understand stuff like this. Pharisees, however, filled with pride, these hypocrites complain that he casts out demons by the prince of demons. Man, how sad is that? To look at something great God is doing and say, <laughs> must be Satan. Um, all right, let's go on. <sighs> oh, well, important, important part of all this, guys, is first thing you should always do when you're feeling sick, when sickness is coming upon you, when you think there's spiritual attack, whatever, go to the Lord Jesus Christ first. How sad. Most of the time we just rush to a doctor, rush to a psychiatrist or a psychologist or counselor. There's nothing wrong with going to those people. But it's always the first thing, and then Jesus becomes the last resort. Why not go to Jesus first? The other night, um, I had a fever coming on hard. Like a, I had a headache, and it was I could feel it turn into a fever, and my head was just getting hot, and it hurt. And uh, I texted a friend and said, please pray for me, because I, I want to be able to get a good sleep and go to church tomorrow. And uh, within like 10 minutes, it just went away. <laughs> I'm laying in bed. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, my head, my head, my head feels better. My fever's gone. My headache's gone. I could go stream. I'm like, no, no, I won't. Because I've already said to the Lord, God, 
I have a headache. I have a fever. I want to get a good night's sleep tonight. I want this fever to go away so I can go to church tomorrow. And I'm not going to stream tonight. And so it would be pretty gross for me to say these things to God. And then the moment he delivers me from something, turn around and go, aha, thank you for blessing me, Lord. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to stream, but that was only because I was sick. So now I'm going to go stream and hopefully I can get to bed on time and go to church in the morning. You know, so praise God. I'm glad it worked out that way. All right. Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues. So these are Jewish, Jewish gathering places of worship because not everyone could just go to the temple in Jerusalem every day because it was like 20, 30, 50, 60 kilometers away. Synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into this harvest. Man, that is such a beautiful passage for so many reasons. Let's explore it. So Jesus is, though. so this is now kind of doing like an overview of what Jesus is doing in this time period, you know. Uh, it's no longer being specific from these moment-to-moment things. Um, but yeah, he's going like all over the place, all around the Sea of Galilee. And all these cities, all these villages, all these synagogues where the Jews were worshiping because Jesus Christ was a Jew. Shocker. Yeah, no, the Jews didn't make that up to try and control the world. Stop being an anti-Semite. Oh, are there some evil Jews out there? Yeah, just like there's evil black people, evil white people, evil Asian people, you know, just stop being stupid. Um, Anyways, (laughs) that's just the conspiratorial people out there. Um, But yeah, Jesus was a Jew and he wasn't made up. Um, And so he went, he'd go to synagogues as an itinerant rabbi. So he would travel and teach and he would proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. So that's the, that's not just this gospel. Hey, I'm going to die on a cross for people's sins. He was actually talking about, Hey, the kingdom of God is going to manifest. It's going to manifest in a spiritual sense. And then guess what? It's going to come in a physical sense. And this world is going to be transformed and the kingdom will reign forever. And while he was doing that to give authority to his message and proof of who he was, he was healing every disease and every affliction. And we're already seeing this when he saw the crowds. Okay. So now he's looking at the crowds and he has compassion for them. Why? Because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. I think a lot of that harassment, I mean, obviously there's going to be spiritual harassment, but a lot of it was because the Pharisees of that time were just like piling up all of these burdens upon them. Oh, you must keep the law of Moses. Oh, you also must keep uh, um, our laws too. And we're, we're going to put a hedge around the laws with more laws and and in order for you not to um, work on the Sabbath, well, we're going to make laws that say that you can only walk 30 meters from your house on the Sabbath. And like they may have made up all these silly little rules. And it was just really hard for people to feel like they were pleasing God, you know? And it was just burdensome for them. So they were harassed and helpless. How do we know heaven is real? That's a good question, buddy. Um, do you want me to talk about that tonight? Or can we save that for another time? Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Um, Like a sheep without a shepherd. So here again is this picture of people being like sheep. Now, this is interesting because the skeptic would say, oh, well, the Bible writers simply used sheep as um, an allegory for people. And when you look at sheep, they're not very bright uh, they follow each other sometimes to their own destruction. They get lost very easily. Um, they're extremely vulnerable to the prey and, uh, they desperately need a shepherd. Okay. Now going back to the whole uh, metaphor here of people being sheep, a skeptic would say, oh, well, yeah, people are the perfect or sheep are the perfect perfect metaphor for people, and so that's why these Bible writers use sheep. But think about this for a second. God, outside of time, infinite in power and all creative ability, wanted to give us a metaphor for what we were like. So he created sheep. 
And then he put people over them as shepherds. So then he could come later and say, I am the good shepherd. And I want to lead you, for you are sheep that are helpless and harassed and lost. <clears throat> then, so it's just beautiful, like God having compassion. Think about this infinite power, this being outside of time. He doesn't have to bow to anyone, but he looks at these people and he has compassion for them. That is so incredible. Why would God give us the time of day unless he's good and loves us? Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Oh, man, that's awesome. So he turns to his disciples. May have just been the 12, or it may have been more, may have been less, because it varied in his ministry. Uh, there were the main 12 and then the closest three, but sometimes he'd have hundreds of people following him. And many of those would fall follow, follow away, but some would uh, return, especially after his resurrection. But he says the harvest is plentiful, okay? So he's using this metaphor of there being like produce, uh, wheat, whatever. And there's tons of it. There's tons of it. And he's looking at these people who are lost and helpless, and he sees them like wheat, this harvest ready to be taken in. But there's a problem. The laborers are few. There's few people to go out and gather these people. And he says to the disciples, pray earnestly. That's mean, that means with fervor to the Lord of the harvest. Who's the Lord of the harvest? Well, God. God is the one, actually, as we go through the rest of the New Testament, you'll find out God is the one doing the harvest. Like, he's the one doing the harvesting in terms of how he is the one who woos people to himself, calls people to himself, saves people himself. And he's therefore the one who gets all the glory because it's this gift that he is doing. But he uses workers whom through he does the harvesting. And so he says, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. So friends, couple points here. Do you ever feel like you are helpless and harassed, be it by the world, friends, your circumstances, maybe even spirits? Well, there's good news. God loves you and he sees your helplessness. He sees your harassment. And he wants to deliver you from that and walk with you and carry your burden and save you, not just from this temporal thing, but from eternal damnation. He wants you to have eternal life with him. As well, he doesn't want you to just be get saved and then go, oh, thank goodness I got my golden ticket like it's, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, I'm going to heaven one day. Oh my gosh. When people actually believe that way, friend, I'm very concerned from what Jesus himself says, that those people aren't really saved. Jesus is not a golden ticket into heaven. He is so much more than that. He's Lord and Savior. And so, um, he saves people so that they can be then, they can then be his laborers to go out into the field and harvest and turn this wheat into more harvesters. And it is such a beautiful thing. That's why G5 Higher Purpose Gaming has a higher purpose. It is the, the um, I forget which catechism it is, but it says the chief end of man is to know and glorify God and enjoy him forever. So I mean, highest purpose in life, know God who is infinite and you can just keep knowing him. Uh, and learning more about him and diving deeper, and it's totally supernatural. Then, high, um, alongside that is your own individual high purpose, the one that God has called you to, where he's plotted out your life, and he wants you to do great things for his glory. How awesome and enjoyable that is. Fortunately, not a lot of people get to experience that. They think they have their own plan, and uh, that plan falls short, and it often brings no glory to God whatsoever. And then there's even people who uh, they get saved and um, they just, due to lack of surrender, uh, they end up, you know, kind of fulfilling some of the plan, but not much of it. And it's very disappointing. Uh, later on, we'll learn that God does say to some of his followers, well done, good and faithful servant. But yeah, guys, I mean, God makes that invitation. Uh, at the beginning of this, I, I mentioned how God was um, infinitely good and his goodness 
demands then that he be just, and his justice demand then that he judge, and he judges all wrongdoing with perfect righteousness. So here he is, infinitely holy. Here we are, eternally separated from him because of our lack of holiness. And so um, we're, we're destined for an eternity apart from him. But he doesn't want that. He made us for eternal relationship with him. In this God, in this kingdom that Jesus is proclaiming, that's going to come, and so he, um, he, uh, yeah, he, he puts on flesh, becomes man, pays the penalty we deserve on the cross, rises again, conquers death, proves that there's a resurrection, and then he ascends to heaven after um, teaching his disciples for forty days. So I mean, it's amazing. He's going to come back to. And uh, I hope that blesses you guys to know. Preston, are you still there, buddy? Do you want to know? Do you want me to talk just a little bit about uh, how we can know heaven is real? I stop hitting my mic. Uh, just um, say something. I'll, I'll wrap it up. But if I see you, if, you, if I see you respond, I'll, I'll try and talk about it a little bit. But yeah, guys, G5 Higher Purpose Gaming Community. Um, you can you can join the community through Facebook. Just search for it. You can join on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Steam. Again, just search for it. And um, yeah, I hope you join it. I hope if you're a believer that this will encourage and inspire you to use every opportunity to tell people about God and share the gospel and give them a hope that is real. Um, and if you're not, I encourage you to follow along. Ask questions. We'll talk about stuff. Reg Constant, welcome back to G5 Higher Purpose Gaming again. Thanks for stopping by. Fortunately, this is the end. We're going to shut her off now. Preston, I didn't see your response, man. I hope you have a blessed night. And uh, at some point in the future, when you catch me, uh, easiest time to talk about will probably be during a stream. Uh, at the end of the night, word of the day, I'm usually doing that just before going to bed because uh, I do work in the morning. Um, if it's a night where I'm not working the next day, eh, I can talk. I mean, sometimes I've actually talked for like an hour and a half. I don't mind that. But um, we'll talk about how we know heaven is for real, man. Uh, it's not because a, a five-year-old boy wrote a book <laughs> with his ex-pastor dad and it became a bestseller. <laughs> Although there is a book called Heaven is for Real and it became a movie. Uh, but no, <laughs> that's not how we know. Anyways, God bless you, everybody. Have a great night.